Hey Robert, what's going on, man? Uh, I've been really dragging my feet on this response. Uh, I've been watching a few videos. People have been so much really great dog riding by. Um, I've been showing, trying to people have been showing some really great stuff of the hey, you know, kind of like wait, help you build up your wish list. I've been trying to actually check into Beach House a little bit more, uh, especially one of my friends who works at a record store, which is always an amazing slash extraordinarily dangerous uh, friend to have. And uh, I got grabbed a few out of my collection, um, and uh, there's some of these I know that are there are full album links to on YouTube. So I'm going to try to put uh, that down the liner notes. That way, uh, people that want to check them out uh, can get a pretty good flavor of uh, of the stuff. Um, and these really aren't in uh, any particular order. I'm just going to hold them up, try to talk them, talk about them a little bit. And uh, just kind of keep it moving. Um, the first one I want to show is Black Rebel Motorcycle Club, um, Spectre at the Feast. I, I really like this band quite a bit. Um, they are, uh, I guess I, I'd clarify them as sort of indie. Um, for the most part, I guess a little bit more uh, low impact so to speak they're not like real loud in your face uh but this album in particular um i really like this album quite a bit it's not my favorite of theirs i would look for one called howl um and i might try to actually i have it on itunes uh maybe i can try to uh rip it and drop box you uh a few tracks or uh i am going to look to see if i can find it online uh, this is one that, another album that I picked up recently within the last year. So it's a, uh, People's Temple, more for the masses. Um, this is almost border, I don't know what I'd call it psych, but it's a sort of 60s garage rock, maybe very, barely towing the water on psych. Barely. Um, but this is pretty good, it's a little bit more upbeat, uh, I might try to do a needle drop on this and like uh, another video that way uh, people will have a rough idea of of what that group sounds like. Now this is one of my favorite bands um, of the last several years, uh, The National, um, and I cannot actually recommend this record highly enough. Boxer, um, it's funny because I found this album. Uh, I was actually just looking through stuff at the local library, which is a way that I try to find music quite often. And, uh, it was, they have, uh, you know, drawers, and then there's a, uh, a rail up above the drawers for their overflow. Uh, I mean, if you want to talk about overflow, they have so many CDs, you're allowed to check out up to 20 at a time for, I think it's like a month, and this is because they don't have enough room, uh, to put all of their CDs. So, you know, they got some up on the overflow, and... A lot. Of this is something about the cover was you know really simple, but also uh, just kind of jumped out to me. It's like, oh, I'll check this out, and this blew me away. Uh, really good. Um, it's uh, sort of indie, a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I don't love it. It's for low key upbeat. It, it's a good mix all over the place. Uh, check it into it or check into it. I'm pretty sure that there is uh, at least a couple of cuts off YouTube. I'm going to try to put, uh, like I said, try to link everything down the liner notes. Um, this is that band's brand new album, The National Trouble Will Find Me. And this is a double. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And it's trying to slide off my uh, little filing cabinet. Anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I cannot recommend it uh, enough. Um, uh, hopefully there's a, a few cuts on YouTube and I can send that out to some people. Um... Uh, at least put it down in, in the links and give people a rough idea of uh, of what you're sounding like. Okay, this is a band, Robert. I actually think you'll like a lot. This is the Crocodiles. Uh, I know you kind of like... Um, this is sort of a quasi-indie um, sound anyway. I mean, they're, they're on an independent, smaller label. Uh, but I think you would really like them because they remind me a lot of... Uh, uh, so stuff kind of more from the 80s, maybe, um, butched up versions of maybe some of the 80s pop stuff, and, like, pop rock stuff, like, uh, there's, there's a few tracks on there that sounds like, um, uh, I don't remember, is that the single? They had an RSD single, I'm trying to make sure I'm not getting stuff, 
mixed up. But I do know that that whole album is on YouTube, and I'm going to put it in the liner notes. Uh, this is a band. Um, they're, you know, they're not super unknown or, or anything like that. I really don't think most of the stuff I'm, I'm trying to show here is unknown. I just think it's something that some people might be like, oh, I wonder what that is, and then like, walk by like I had done so many times before. But this is Explosions in the Sky. Um, this is a... This is like the deluxe set, but this is absolutely, it's this great ambient, all instrumental stuff. This wants something to put on and spin, uh, and then, and just kind of, you know, maybe enjoy while you're, uh, checking emails or something like that. It's just really good. It, it kind of sucks you in. I'll, I'll be honest, it definitely sucks me in. I have this on CD. I have several of their CDs, and I have two of their albums. That's my favorite one I have. Um, this is the brand new record by Dinosaur Jr., and this is a really phenomenal record, uh, in my opinion, I, I Bet on the Sky by Dinosaur Jr., I, this is another one, uh, if you see it for the right price, uh, I would definitely pick it up, I thoroughly enjoy it, um, and then, the last one I'm gonna show is sort of, uh, the loud part of, uh, stuff that I like, which is Ty Siegel, this album is Twins, and it's phenomenal, it's really good, uh, it's very garage rock. There's a couple of tracks like uh, I'm the Doctor and uh, a few others. That uh, If you like uh, Iggy Pop and the Stooges stuff, there's definitely you know some undertones of those guys of uh, influence. And if you listen to... Uh, this guy will remind you a lot of Blue Cheer, if you like Blue Cheer. Um, it's funny because I heard him. I hadn't heard Blue Cheer in a really long time. So I was playing at a record store. I looked at my brother who I was digging. I was like, hey, man, does Ty Siegel know about this? And we both just kind of smiled to ourselves uh, to, or to each other. Because it's really reminiscent of uh, Blue Cheer. I mean, it's not like a direct ripoff or anything. But you can definitely tell that Blue Cheer was one of his influences. And sort of in that um, garage rock kit is uh it's a single bass drum of death i don't know if you can see it uh this is actually weird because it's an eight inch single uh i guess you know somebody has an eight inch press and decided i don't i don't know what i'm doing make a bunch of eight inch singles anyway um in all seriousness i really enjoyed this um it's it's way up upbeat like i said real type of uh garage rock stuff which i just kind of like that um and there's the stuff that i had uh, to show you today, uh, I might go, that's the stuff that just popped into my head, I can remember, you know, like, at the drop of a hat, I might try to dig up some more stuff that, uh, and share with everybody else, because I've been appreciating seeing the other stuff that people are sharing, and I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's it, man, uh, everybody have a great day, happy spends, I look forward to seeing the stuff that, uh, you're recommending, because it's always really cool to find new stuff, I don't know how many things I personally have found due to uh, the VC and seeing what stuff that people are showing or needle job. I'm at that, hell, I think at this point, probably about a third of my collection. Uh, and probably a lot of the stuff uh, that I just showed is due to going to a record store and, you know, the what they have now playing. I mean, if you if you can see that poster behind me, it's sort of, they go in, and, and in one of the shops I really enjoy, they go in, they got a little uh, wooden bar that says, now playing. And it's a stand, so they have a record jacket in there. And there's at least three records that I've bought in there specifically because they playing it, I saw it, I liked it, I bought it. And if I can help somebody else spend their money, I would be all about that. So, Robert, have a great week. I uh, hope uh, you enjoy this stuff. I'm going to try to find as many of these links as I can to put down in the liner notes. That way, uh, you and the other uh, vinyl aficionados can decide for yourself whether or not you like them.